My name is Rusty Markham. Today I'd just like to inform you all about the serious crisis we are facing in the country, particularly pertaining to our basic foods. Uh, we believe that the government is not pursuing this issue or aware of the issue to the extent that it should be. We recently had the UN Special Rapporteur in the country who gave us a comprehensive report of the state of affairs in the country. What I'd like to highlight is the existing stocks, mostly held, if not all held, by the Grain Marketing Board, amount to about 100,000 tonnes. This is under one month's supply of grain. This is a major issue because, uh, as we all know, maize is our staple food in this country. To let it go to this extent is unforgivable. The government are relying on the donor community and our bilateral friends to fill the hole and plug the gap for themselves. While we know from the money that the donor community are trying to raise in light of the drought in Zimbabwe, uh, they are struggling to reach any target. It has been reduced to 300 million and I believe that they are struggling to raise anything like that. That said and done, there was a lot of funfare about grain coming from South Africa and more recently Tanzania. This is a drop in the ocean of what we need. We are five months off at best for this current crop to be reaped. So we are short five months of maize. The government in its wisdom has also reduced or removed the 30% subsidy that was on maize at a time when the country has none or very little. This drove the prices up to the consumer to nearly $100 for 10 kgs of roller meal. We as the MDC request that the subsidies, particularly that on roller meal, gets reintroduced to cushion the people. Because if you look at the people's current economic crisis, 90% of people in Zimbabwe are unemployed. Of the people that are employed, none of them have had a salary increase that is anything like what is required to keep up with the exchange rate, the devaluation, as we all know, the interbank rate is 16 to 1 at the moment. There is no ways that people can afford roller meal at the current prices. The other major issue is when you're in a constrained economy like this, the extended family tend to feed off the, the few that have a job. So the pressures from the extended family are huge. We call upon government to urgently resolve the issue of the subsidies. There's been verbal talk of this, but nothing has happened. Nothing has actually happened and we are facing a major crisis. The second issue I'd like to cover is that of the wheat situation. The wheat situation is not different. The millers have had pressure put on them to cap the price of bread, particularly the standard loaf. They have also had an informal subsidy on the wheat that they are taking to mill for flour. This is not working because as we know the millers are going from milling to not milling, things that are not bred. In a crisis like we're facing now, particularly with wheat, what the government should be doing is subsidizing the standard loaf very much in the way as roller mill. And they must ensure that this is actually happening. Bread in growth points and urban areas is a very big standard product for people to eat. We cannot carry on like this. People cannot afford even bread. The wheat production in this country at best is two months of the amount of wheat we require for the year. However, the winter wheat crop, for example, which is now, we will be lucky if it gets anywhere near 60,000 tons. We will be very lucky if it gets anywhere near that because the farmers are facing massive outages on Zesa, 
They have massive delays in getting their fuel if they can find it. And of course, we haven't even mentioned the cost of imports going up. So winter wheat farming for Zimbabwe is a thing of the past. Anything that is done for winter wheat now is basically sub-economic. The last issue which I'd like to raise on the plight of the cattle farmer. The issue of this is very simple. We've lost all our export markets. Cattle farmers are totally reliant on beef prices here in Zimbabwe. With the lack of buying power, obviously the consumption of meat has dropped. But on top of this, the cattle plight has been ignored totally by the government. We had a drought. Government did nothing about the cattle farmer. Those cattle have just gone through a long winter. Again, government has done nothing. At the backdrop of this, all the dipping programs that were introduced with government have fallen apart. As a result, we have tick-borne diseases like thylariosis hammering the cattle. On top of that now, we have no substitution of any stock feeds uh, of any sort or even fodder crops supplied or helped or organized by government for the cattle farmers. So we have a massive amount that are dying which are not even reported. I believe under Reload, under our economic reform program, the MDC can sort out the agricultural thing. And when we have a crisis, we have to react quickly. The current audit going on in the Grain Marketing Board must come out very urgently. We need that to be made public. We need that to be given to our bilateral partners so at least we know how deep and serious this crisis is. I thank you.